Welcome to Coaching the Modern 4231 Soccer Formation Tactical Essentials and Training Ground Exercises. In this video, we look at a sample of collective team movement in the attacking phase and two training ground exercises for practicing your team's attacking movements. The book is available on Amazon.com. And be sure to pick up a copy. The ebook is like $5.99 and the paperback's around $10. Bucks. Enjoy the video. In this clip, you can see that the blue team is in the attacking third. And this is collective movement in the attacking third by the entire team. The number four and the number five, the two center backs, are split. That allows the number six, the defensive center mid, to come in and drop in and play almost as a third defender as another center back. The number six is the swing man. So if the ball needs to be worked back out, the number six will, will change the, the point of attack from side to side. You could see that both wing backs, the number two and the number three, are responsible for creating attacking width as they push up in the channel. Um, the number seven and number 11, which are the true wingers, have now both cut into the center of the field to form a diamond with the attacking center mid number 10 and the forward number nine. The passing center mid number eight um, sits in front of the number six and behind the number 10, but has the liberty to burst forward into the attack. Um, you could see that this ball is being played wide to the winger, the number three, and the number nine at that point is actually cutting into space, and number 10 is filling the space that the number nine left. This is just a sample pattern that can be done while teams are attacking. Um, in the attacking third, you might want to consider not sending both wingbacks at the same time maybe just sending the one that's on the side of the ball to make it more secure to guard against the counter. This next exercise is two-team shadow play, which is very interesting. Uh, it's an exercise where both the red and the blue team build possession from their goalkeepers and work the ball realistically up the field, playing with a good rhythm, working the ball in between all the lines, making overlapping runs, switching the field. The coach can control this shadow play. He can yell out directions like switch the field, play back, attack the middle, attack wide. Um, both teams are working the ball at the same time, so they have to be aware of the other team, make sure nobody collides and they don't disrupt each other. But it's good for spatial awareness and for just general soccer IQ, knowing where the other team is at all times on the field. What happens is it's a collective movement that builds up the entire field and finishes with a shot on goal. After each team shoots on goal, the team will jog back towards the original goal and start another ball from the keeper. This next training ground exercise is called two zone. It's a great way to encourage interchanging of positions, creating overloads, and working on general attacking movements of the team. The team score by stopping the ball in their opponent's end zone, which you can adjust um, the size of the end zone to make it harder or easier. You know, if the end zone was 15 yards um, wide, pretty simple to play a pass in there to score. If you want to make that end zone five yards wide, much more difficult to score on that end zone. In order to score in the zone, the ball must be passed to a player running into the end zone that stops the ball. Players can't already be in the zone uh, and then stop the ball. The players cannot dribble into the zone either to score. So it has to be a pass being hit into the zone as a player runs in and stops the ball. Basically, what makes this exercise challenging is the zone is the entire width of the field so teams can score anywhere. So to defend one little area is very, very difficult. So the attacking team can practice plenty of overloads, pl plenty of uh, attacking movements with overlaps, underlaps, you name it. Um, it's also a very fun game. Now, in the game, you could vary it many ways. You could have it one touch. You can have it two touch. Maybe you have to score from one touch only. Uh, it provides a lot of opportunities to be creative with your attacking movements. Coaching the Modern 4231 Soccer Formation is available on Amazon.com for $5.99 for the ebook and around $10 for the paperback. I myself have been using this formation for the past four or five years. This is what my team plays in college. Every single year, I learn more about the formation. I learn how to make modifications, adjustments. We can use it as a purely counterattack system if we want. We can use it as an ultra-attacking system if we want. 
I understand the defensive range, the attacking range, the transitions between defense and attack. In the book, I give you training sessions that really work and are specifically designed to improve your team in this system. And, oh, just a general knowledge base of the entire system so you can go out in that field and feel confident that you have a solid understanding of how to get this knowledge from you to your team in a way that makes sense. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out my blog, coachdbernardo.com. It's a blog about coaching soccer. And also be sure to check out all my other books, which every single one of them is available on amazon.com.